Magnolia trees at night. Spark. It's time to talk about getting that holiday glow. The holidays are here. And joining me from Rejuvena Health, esthetician, this is Kimberly Smith. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Always nice to have you here on the show. You give us some great ideas and tips. And now this is the time of year when everybody wants to look good and feel good. Right. So let's talk about some of the basic things that we use every day that's in our cupboard that we can use to make our skin glow. Well, we can definitely do that. Mm -hmm. We can definitely do that. I'm going to make a couple things for you today. Okay. Um, the first one is going to be to soak in, so that's going to be kind of fun. It's because always nice to soak. It is mm -hmm. nice to soak. We have way too much stress, so this is going to unstress people. So the first thing I'm going to make for you is going to be a bath soak, and okay. then I have, this is all part of my Christmas day spa type of thing, mm -hmm. so I have a mask that goes with. We don't have time to do that, but I also have a toner today, too, that's really easy yeah. to make. And it's just three ingredients, so some witch hazel, some cherry juice, and a rooibos tea bag. Yeah, we'll so. get to those in a uh, minute. That'll yeah. be good, because I'm sure a lot of people would love to use that. Plus, yeah. it just smells good as well. Oh, it so does, yeah. Well, let's Absolutely talk about the great. soak. So what are we going to start with? Okay, so what you're going to use is the Epsom salts. This is going to help you to detox. Okay. So you're going to do about a cup of this. And now, we're using the... Um, Fine grain Epsom salt? Yeah, or? this okay. is really kind of like a, I don't know if you can see, but it's really... It looks like a powder almost. Yeah, almost looks like snow. Mm -hmm. So kind of gets you in the mood for that. And so what I do is I put like a little bit of green tea. This is one that I've already made. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put this in with some um, honey, like a tablespoon of honey. Now, can you use something else instead of green tea, like lavender? You sure could. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you okay. could. I mean, I like green tea because the microcirculation benefits that you get from it. So kind of all in the same, like, keep you healthy type of thing. Nice. And then I've got about four tea bags that I've ground down in my coffee grinder, really super fine. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add that in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my stuff here. So do you have to measure this out, or is it just... Yeah. Play it by ear the way it looks and feels. I have like um, this all measured out for mm -hmm. about four tea bags worth of um, the dust. Okay. And I mix it in with the honey and a little bit of the green tea. Mm -hmm. and a little bit of that. And then I reincorporate it, all of this in here. So you're just going to fold it all in? Yeah. Now, how much of this does it make? Is it like all two weeks work? Oh, you can make it into this little yeah, gift set. Oh, exactly. Nice. So it's um, kind of a large amount then. It's a, yeah, it's pretty big. For this one cup of Epsom salts and these four tea bags, you can make all of that. And so the reason why I made like different ones is because you might want these for like um, hostess gifts or mm -hmm. you might want these for like, you know, little presents for friends. And then what I do is I just kind of, you know, mix it really fine. You kind of have separate to, it. Yeah, I kind of have to play with it a little bit. But eventually you end up with this really nice, like what I have over there. So you can put them in these small little containers like this one. Uh -huh. And you can just make it the way that you want to make it because it's your gift set that you're giving away. Exactly. Yeah. And how long does this last? I mean, does it stay on the shelf for a month or more? I've had these things last. People have told me that they've had them and, and forgotten that they had them for like a year and they were still really great. Really? So, yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the teas that you make. we got about a minute left. Okay. I'm going to get to these teas for all sure. Right. So the tea is really easy to do too. So all you do is you just have like the cherry juice in there. Mm -hmm. You have um, the witch hazel and then you also have um, the rooibos tea bag. So the cherry juice is going to be revitalizing because anything that has a pit in it is going to be revitalizing. So any fruit that's like mm -hmm. that will do that. And then the witch hazel is astringent and then you also have the rooibos tea bag which is a antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. So, so you're really like depuffing your skin, especially if yeah. you went to a party and you may have a little too much to drink. Or, exactly. Yeah, it's just yeah. gonna make you feel good. And then you soak in the Epsom salt, it takes away the swelling mm -hmm. maybe in your feet. For sure. This yep. is great. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you like more information on this, Kimberly, you're fantastic. I love all this stuff because yeah. we need it. And again, this is stuff we just have in our own cupboard at home. Yep. You can go to WeRejuvenate.com and they're gonna have all the detailed information broken down for you on that website. And maybe you can make some gift sets for somebody nice this holiday season. Yeah. Thanks again for being here. We really do appreciate you. Don't go anywhere. We come back. We're talking about these self-driving.